All right, this is part two to the three weeks at UPS video. The, my video cut off. The, my phone is full of video nonsense. It's an older Android phone. I've had this phone for almost two years, so sorry about that. Uh, but hey, now I'm working two jobs. I'll buy another phone. I'll get an iPhone 12 or whatever. Anyways, to finish up what I was talking about, three weeks of UPS, it's doable. It's not that hard. You see I'm alive. I'm I'm kicking, I'm walking down the street, it's a beautiful day, Saturday morning, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning right now. Um, the other video, part one, I started at about nine. So, bottom line, week one is training. They show you how to properly load, how to properly unload, how to handle what you're gonna do. Package handler. Week two, you're in the, you're in the field, you're working. Every day. Um, you show up Monday through Friday, I'm twilight, which is 5.30 to 10.30 at night. And for you military guys, 17.30 to 22.30 hours, five days a week, Monday to Friday, weekends off, it's Saturday, I love it, it's great. Get yourself in shape, drink a lot of water, and it won't, it won't be that much of a butt kicker. It's not that bad. People complain about physical labor jobs, but some of that is just laziness. It's not that bad. Uh, so ultimately I do recommend it now the end of three weeks you get evaluated every week um, so the third week I got evaluated out of a hundred points I got an 85 out of a hundred possible points so if you look at high school and college grading 85% is like a B plus meaning you're doing excellent your safety is good the way you move is good the way you handle yourself is good of course, the only thing they always want you to do better is be faster. So they're like, oh, your packages per hour should go up. They What they want for their standard that they set for everybody is 1,000 packages per hour, which is ridiculous, but that's what they say. Now, they're like, it's doable if you do the techniques and all this kind of stuff and you do everything we say. But I'm like, well, then your belts need to work. The belts shut off a lot. At This facility that I'm at is new. So there's still bugs in the system. No, sh no shame on the La Mirada hub because I like the La Mirada hub and it's new. So it's understandable that there's bugs in the system. It's a new hub. It's only been open a year. And because of that, um, the belts, they stop. <laughs> they just don't always work. That's fine. That's just the way it is. Now, bottom line is um, week three went well and I got evaluated and it was good. Now week four, starting next week, will be the end of the 30 day period, which again, from the first video, refer to that where it, where it talks about, where I talk about, that's the test to see if it's a good fit for you. If you can survive 30 days, come to work on time, uh, not miss any days, not complain, and just work safely so that you don't injure yourself or others, you've pretty much passed the test so next week we will get to the 30-day mark and i'll advise you on friday or saturday of next week on that how you doing so that's how that works and that's your first probationary period the second probationary period is what the real probationary period is which is 70 days so after 70 days you are completely past all probationary periods which is great because most companies it's like three months four months whatever five months six months before you pass probation i don't know here it's 70 days so uh which is about three months so bottom line what happens is once you pass probation you are fully unionized you've already paid all your union dues which they're taking out right now they're taking out 25 dollars a week until you get to the max which is 200 to be fully vested into the union dues Teamsters Union, it's a pretty strong union. Uh, then you will pay $29 a month that they deduct out of your check. You agree to that when you first get hired, so if you have a problem with that, you tell them at the entrance when you first get hired because you're a union employee. You should know that come in. They're gonna take dues. Suck it up, deal with it, it's part of it. Um, if you don't wanna do that, then don't get a job at UPS because they are a union employee employer 
Teamsters Union. Uh, so you can go to the union meetings, you can do all that, and it's good, and I recommend it. And I haven't gone yet because they're only like monthly, so I'll find out the schedule and I'll go to the union hall and answer questions. They give you a free uh, MOU, which is the memorandum of understanding. Memorandum of understanding, which is all the rights and privileges that a union employee from that uh, union has, which is Teamsters. So that's week three to recap. Work safely, be on time, don't miss days, and just keep a positive attitude. Take care of yourself, drink a lot of water. Put a lot of lemon in your water too, and drink some Gatorade. You're gonna lose weight at work, but try to eat healthy when you're not at work. So all that being said, hope you guys liked the video. That's week three. I'll keep you posted at the end of 30 days about the evaluation, which I get one more coming up next week. And thanks for watching. Hope this helps. If you have any questions about UPS, how to get hired, what it's like being an unloader specifically, let me know. Because I'm an unloader. There's loaders, unloaders, sorters, there's drivers, there's supervisors. There's all kinds of different jobs there. Human resources, there's welders, there's uh, guys that just, they're called shifters, that just drive around in the, in the yard moving trailers from dock door to dock door. That's a good position. Those guys get pretty good money, like 30 bucks an hour or something like that. So anyways, let me know about all that stuff uh, if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. UPS is a good company. Great medical and dental benefits after nine months. You get all covered medical, dental, vision for you, your family, your wife, your kids. It's important. And uh, that's good stuff. 401k, yes. Pension plan, yes. Medical, dental, vision, yes. Vacation, yes. Sick time, paid sick time, yes. All right, see you later. Staff out.